Hi, this is Janessa from the Mother Hive. I'm just coming here to talk to you about Earth Wisdom Wednesdays. So this is our first edition of our weekly call or video on Facebook of Earth Wisdom Wednesday, the time that we can come together and I can share a little bit with you about Earth Wisdom. And what that means is really uh, ways that you can tap into your own inner wisdom as well as connecting to the energies of Earth. And so if we haven't met yet, I am the creator and founder of the Mother Hive. I am a yogi, a priestess, a shamanic practitioner, and an herbalist. And I'm also an educator. And so I've created the Mother Hive as a way to be of service to other women and to help empower other women to heal themselves, their families, and their communities through these ancient practices and to help each of you find ways to connect to earth, but also to your own wisdom. So... I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about this time of year. Right now we are at the wheel of the year. We are in this uh, sacred time of winter solstice between December 20th and the 23rd. And so I wanted to remind you of some of the wisdom and the magic of this time of winter solstice as well as this time of Yule. So in the Celtic Wheel of the Year, we are, as I mentioned, at Winter Solstice. And this is a quarter festival right between Samhain, or Halloween, and Imbolc, which is at the beginning of February. And Imbolc is the quickening time, uh, the time when things start to come back to life. So we are, as you know, in this uh, really potent time with the great conjunction happening as well. But I'm going to focus in now a little bit more just about the rhythm of Yule. So as I mentioned, in this solstice time, we are moving from Samhain. And Samhain is really this uh, dark time where we can draw inward, we can spend more time in silence and in solitude and in meditation, and we are really grounded in earth energy. There's a strong connection to the earth element, and therefore our root chakra is very activated and very supported and helping us feel stable, um, you know, imagining like this little safe cocoon that we're building for ourselves. And we've spent a lot of time working with the dark, working with the shadow energy, uh, as I said, meditation, really spending time by ourselves and in, uh, in deep inner work and spiritual work. And now we're preparing for the return of the light, for the rebirth. And so this is a rebirth of the solar energy, but also a rebirth within each of us. And so we can use this time of year to really birth something that we have been dreaming up during this dark time. And we're moving from these uh, experiences in the darkness, uh, our experiences with the crone, with our own inner wisdom, and we've gained this wisdom now through this stillness. And now it's time to bring this vision that we want to birth into the world forward. And so we're going to move more into the energy of the maiden. So this is what helps us uh, birth our dreams and live in an empowered uh, sacred way in the world. And so I'd like to share a couple tips with you to help you connect to earth as well as to your own inner wisdom. So one way to harness this time of year is to spend 
time with the elements and with what's happening right now energetically. And so spending time during these long dark nights leading up to winter solstice, uh, spending time under the moonlight, spending time even just sitting outside or taking a short uh, walk around the yard can be really powerful to help us to not feel so alone and to feel more connected. And then as we're moving through this portal of winter solstice and the return of the solar energy, we want to make sure that we're honoring the, the sun. So waking up early and experiencing the sunrise, tapping into the time of sunset, uh, perhaps chanting a mantra at sunrise would be really beautiful. I love to chant the Gayatri mantra at that time of uh, at the time of sunrise in that morning time. Uh, working with candles and with light, so lighting lots of candles on our altars can be really supportive. Any type of altar that you would like to design to honor this time period. So thinking about colors and symbolism, perhaps looking at reds and whites, purple, and even doing simple, what you might call like crafts or rituals, uh, building a Yule log, uh, building a wreath, constructing it out of what you have around, the resources that are nearby you, I have a lot of um, evergreens where I live, so working with the energy of the evergreens, white pine, cedar, juniper, those are all available to me where I live. So last year I spent some time uh, harvesting white pine needles and I've tinctured those up at the end of last year so that they are available to me as medicine throughout the entire year. So I've been working with a, a white pine tincture and yeah, like tapping into the other symbols and plants that are usually associated with this time of year, holly, ivy, our mistletoe, those are all great things to invite into your home or into your altar. So those are some ways that you can work with this energy of winter solstice, of the rhythm of Yule, and to harness this time in a way that can be empowering to you and to help you manifest those dreams that have been brewing and uh, percolating and in, uh, in your heart and um, the way of the crone I always think about an inner heart knowing and so use these tips to help you tap into this earth wisdom that exists in each of you and many blessings at this beautiful time of year and may all your dreams come true sweet love